Hi, this is Aaliyah with Dance with Aaliyah. I'm here with Alexandru David, who has kindly joined me on this beautiful Los Angeles afternoon to discuss dance and his history and dance. How are you doing today? Being with you here, very good. All right. <laughs> and uh, you have a long dance history. You've been dancing for over 60 years, which is wonderful. <laughs> What is your favorite dance style? Uh, I guess uh, the old American uh, type of dancing because that's where it started everything. Ah. 1920s, starting with 1920s. <laughs> you were ta talking to me the other night uh, at Cafe Amon about Balboa? Yeah, what happens in 1920s, uh, a little history of dance. The first dance actually was the cakewalk dance that many people know about this. Before 1920s, the slaves were doing uh, some type of show, walking in front of the, the master okay. by groups, different groups, and uh, the winner they were getting a cake. Oh, okay. So that's the okay. cake cake walk. <laughs> but in 1920s, the uh, Americans came with a Charleston. Mm -hmm. After Charleston. Uh, from Charleston, uh, they uh, invented Lindy Charleston. Mm -hmm. So it's got the same type of uh, steps, but a little different, more very dynamic. Yeah. And 1930s, they came with Balboa, which the music is very fast and with very small steps, but sometimes it gets very complicated and very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. And after that, with the Balboa, they came with the Jitterbug, which is also a variety, a variation of the. Yeah. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Lindy, and uh, they got into the swing, like East Coast swing, then the East Coast, then much later on uh, on the West Coast, they came with the West Coast swing, which is uh, actually a variation of also of the Lindy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And what is your favorite dance to dance? Well, uh, like Lindy and Balboa is a very strong dances. Okay. But then also West Coast, I do a lot of West Coast and the East Coast. What's your favorite dance to teach? Uh, when it's about teach, I like all type of dance to oh, teach. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I teach uh, also uh, Argentinian tango. Yes. I've been in uh, Buenos Aires for some uh, <clears throat> uh, preparation with the locals. Okay. With the teacher, with the, the best dancers. So you did you originally learn in Argentina? No, no. Uh, Once and I started here about 15, 16 years ago with the, one of the most famous uh, Argentinian legends, Orlando Paiva. Okay. And uh, we have a friend here in, uh, at Westwood. It's called the Dance Factory. And uh, Michael Espinosa, he started at the same time with me there. Okay. And he's still teaching in this uh, Dance Factory. Okay. You were talking to me earlier also about the when you teach Argentina Argentine tango, you have a specific type of style that you use. What happens in each type of dance? Each teacher should bring something, mm -hmm. like his own method of teaching, or maybe one step which would fit that type of uh, dance. So I uh, came with the. Uh, uh, in the beginning, I've been for several years uh, confused, being a professional dancer, confused about the Argentine tango, how does it go, this, that, until I figured out. So I came with this method, which is the skeleton of tango, okay. which is very easy, makes very easy uh, to the students to learn and not to get uh, confused in this type of uh, difficult dance. <laughs> Now, uh, about a week or so ago, we were here at, uh, uh, at the Pacific Arts Center and where they host the Cafe Amon on Saturday nights, and you were teaching some Romanian folk dances. Yes. When you do these folk dances, do you still remember your childhood? Are you, is it still romantic of your childhood when you dance? Of course. Uh, <clears throat> when I was 10 years, I started to dance at the Palace of Pioneers in Bucharest, uh -huh. Russian dancing. And uh, after that, I got into the uh, choreography school for four years. And at 14, I got uh, admitted in the Perinitsa State Ensemble, Professor State Ensemble in Bucharest, oh. where we're doing uh, Romanian dances, 
the Russian dances because we were under Russian umbrella, under Russian culture, and uh, international folk dancing. So that's uh, that's where I started folk dancing, and that's where my childhood is. Yeah. <laughs> Have you been back to visit or to study dance? Uh, just about every year. I'm not with the last, uh, not the last couple because I had to go through the villages to to collect uh, more Romanian dances, oh. so I can teach them here and around the world. Oh wow! So you have been able to come, go back, and continually revitalize your own remembrance and your own uh, ability to teach the dances. Again. Yes. Also, I took uh, <coughs> tours with folk dancers, amateurs from uh, Europe and from the uh, states. Uh, the villages in Romania, so they they've seen. Uh, I have videos. They've been dancing with the locals, with the peasants, oh, and they've seen wonderful. how everything started. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Uh, you've been able to teach in several countries. What are some of your, you know, fond memories, or which countries have been more pleasant to teach in? Uh, there are many countries good dancers, like in Europe. Uh, Handels, uh, uh, Holland, Scandinavia, they were very good dancers. Maybe because they were younger, younger people. Uh, but uh, I've been through most of the Western Europe, like uh, Switzerland a million times, mm. all Germany, uh, Belgium, uh, Holland, uh, Scandinavia, like Denmark, uh, Norway, uh, uh, the, uh, the Sweden. Scandinavia have been about three, four times. Mostly the Romanian folk dances that you're teaching? Mostly Russian Romanian dances, yeah. And then uh, around the Pacific, uh, like uh, going through Hawaii, then Japan, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Australia, New Zealand, all the way to Alaska, different uh, places in Alaska, all the way to the Russian border, like Kodiak Island, <laughs> Sitka. Oh, that's wonderful. And uh, Canada from east to west, and the uh, United States, of course. I got a lot of documentation because it's uh, four generations before uh, before my generation, and uh, how it starts everything. It's I was born in Bessarabia, mm -hmm. which now is Moldova, the Republic of Moldova. Yes. And uh, that's a region with a lot of history with uh, Tatars, Mongols, uh, Russians, Turks. Uh, yes. So yes. So uh, that's where I was born. That was the Russian uh, uh, the German tanks were going through in front of my uh, house, going towards Stalingrad, and then going back, and then we run. It's, it's, it's a long story. Yeah. So you, this is not the first time you had guns nearby you. You know, no, the no. German. Yes. No. no. Young, yeah. I went through the Second World War. Yeah. Uh, we were talking briefly about um, under a communist regime, and you went to a school when you were ten years old. And uh, at that time is how you first started to learn the Russian dance and the Romanian dance. I find that very fascinating. Yeah, so yeah we had uh, actually Russian teachers teaching us uh, Russian dance. Russian dance. But then after, in uh, 72, when I escaped uh, from uh, Romania, I crossed the Iron Curtain mm -hmm. with my little brother. We went through the, a lot of difficulties, through the rockets, uh, grenades, uh, traps uh, going from Romania all the way to Italy mm. and then uh, to France yeah. and uh, <coughs> that was a uh, difficult uh, yeah. part. The Russian teachers, did they also teach you ballet or <coughs> was it mostly folk dances uh, At the state ensemble the schedule was uh, in the morning to start uh, with a one hour Warm up, oh, warm up. Where two days were ballet, two days was a Russian character, and two days uh, was a Romanian character. And after that, to do rehearsal with a one hour of dance, all that stuff. Yeah. That sounds dreamy. And when I was uh, 15, uh, I took uh, tap dance uh, lesson with uh, our big uh, master from uh, uh, Grand Music Hall, oh. which he studied in Hollywood. Okay. So I learned actually. Routines from here, which they are done here. When yeah. later on, when I came here after '73, I went to a, uh, Arthur Murray, yeah. Uh, yeah. big uh, teacher. I went to take a uh, lesson uh, yes. tap, 
and he, he told me, show me what can you do. I do this, la, la, la. I said, you don't uh, take any class with me. <laughs> because I've been dancing in Romania in nightclubs and uh, the grand music was in dancing, tap dancing. Yeah. And around the world in different places, like in the summer camps uh, in, uh, in uh, Switzerland, I've been teaching tap dancing. What other American dances had you even heard of when you were a young uh, kid? Romania? No, but originally. Uh, Bessarabia. Bessarabia. So well, Bessarabia, I, I didn't. Uh, uh, I just stayed uh, three, four years and we had to evacuate because the Russians were coming. The so tanks. You didn't learn the tap until after you left? Yes, uh, when I was in Bucharest. That's where I spent uh, all the time. Uh, okay. Yes. So in Bucharest, that's when you started? Yes. Uh, and how, you said you started when you were 10 years old. Was that a common yes. age to start dancing under communist regime? Uh, Did start if younger? you go to this uh, palace pioneers, uh, yeah, otherwise there, there used to be some uh, private uh, ballet schools where mm -hmm. kids they were going like here, you know. Young, four yeah, years yes, old. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for talking with me and I hope to share more time with you and more time with you on the dance floor.